Okay, let's look at a way we could solve an equivalent proportion or equivalent fractions using algebra. So here's a proportion and here is an equivalent proportion expressed differently. And we are trying to figure out what the numerator n is here. So we could think of this just like an algebra problem where we're trying to solve for the variable, in this case, n. We have here n divided by 24. We don't want n over 24. We just want n equals something or something equals n. So we need to undo this division by 24. And the opposite of dividing by 24 is multiplying by 24. Mm, that's not a good marker. Let's use this green one. So if I multiply both sides by 24, then I'm legal, right? As long as I do the same thing to both sides, it's okay. So I'm gonna leave my equal sign on the same vertical. Now I've got 24 times three divided by eight. Now, if you wanna calculate this whole thing, go ahead, 24 times three, three times four is 12, three times 20 is 60, 60 plus 12 is 72. So what I'm gonna have here is 72 divided by eight equals, now 24 divided by 24, anything divided by itself is one. So really I just have an N over here. So 72 divided by eight, and if you know your times tables, you know that nine times eight is 72. So therefore this is gonna be nine equals N or N equals nine. So if we go back up to our equivalent uh, fractions up here, we have three over eight equals nine over 24.